Hi, welcome to your monthly Zodiac readings. Got them going a little late in July, but better late than never. I'm obviously not at home. I'm working on filming them all from the lake. So you get to enjoy the wonderful scenery and the occasional sounds of cars going by on their own. But at least you get to see the lake behind you. This month, it is such a more calm and peaceful month than June. In June, we had a bit of the roller coaster. This month, it's more like going down the lazy river. There's still gonna be a little, uh, a few ups and downs, but it's a little smoother sailing thanks to the cancer energy we are in this month. Let's see, speaking of cancer, we have the new moon going into cancer on July 9th, which will prompt us to work on what we want for ourselves and to maybe delve deep into those feelings since it is a new moon in cancer and look at some of those feelings and see where we want those feelings to be and what do we want to feel like then at the end of the month we have the full moon on july 23rd and that is a full moon in aquarius so that'll kind of shake us up a little bit to make us help us think about how we want to show up in the world how we want to help others we do have a cosmic manifesting or magical rectangle coming up this month. I'm still learning a little bit more about that, but it is a great time for manifestation. And I haven't nailed down any of the other astrologers on exactly when that's taking place. I think mid-month. But uh, stay tuned to my Instagram and Facebook channels. The more I find out about it, the more I'll let you know about it. Other than that, it promises to be a pretty great month. So let's dive into your reading. And spoiler alert, your background may change. Hello, Gemini. We are losing a little daylight, but hopefully we'll get your reading in here quick before the light is totally gone. At least one nice thing. I just happened to notice a firefly behind me, so you'll get to watch some of the fire fireflies come out. But it makes it a little hard to see your cards when there's no light. So we will see what we can do here. On the split, we get Page of Swords and the Hierophant for you. Small messages coming in, uh, possibly about a commitment. Hierophant is big on commitment as well as learning. So we'll have to see what the cards say. So what do we have for my Geminis? I'm a Gemini, so I kind of want to know too. So for Gemini, for July... We get Judgment, Knight of Swords, the Devil, Eight of Wands, and Two of Cups. Could have been why that hair fat was coming in. So, Judgment, things turning in your favor in the beginning of July. Knight of Swords, bringing in those messages. What's going on, Gemini, with that Devil energy? You gotta break, break those chains to bind. They're only chains you put in place. No one else is doing it. Eight of Wands, rapid messages coming in, and Two of Cups, possible uh, union soulmate energy, and it is healing. You can see it's similar to a Cadesis coming up, that healing, healing uh, partnership, healing union could be soulmate, but we'll clarify and see. And we'll see how we can get you out of that devil energy, because that's not a good energy to be in, and usually it's an energy you put yourself in. So, on the judgment, what do we have for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. On judgment and Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Between the Knight of Swords and the Devil, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Good card. We have the Knight of Pentacles after the Devil and before the Eight of Wands. And moving on to the Ten of Swords. What's going on there, Gems? What's got you all wrapped up in your head? Air sign, I know you can usually be a little wrapped up in your heads, but something's going on to get you there. Ten of Pentacles, are you worried about your home? Uh, Nine of Pentacles brings in those messages of abundance, but he is the slowest of the night. And Ten of Swords, feeling defeated. Why are you feeling defeated when you've got the Two of Cups going on? Clarify a little bit more on that. 
What do we have on that Ten of Swords for Gemini? We get the Queen of Wands, Queen of Passion, and the Knight of Swords, Quick Movement. So whatever it is, it's going to move through quick. So whatever the situation, and I am going to also throw a couple cards on that Two of Cups and see what that situation is coming in. Three of Wands, it's something you've been waiting for. And the um, Two of Pentacles, trying to find balance. Six of Swords, moving away from something that is painful. So maybe that uh, Two of Cups energy is going to have you move past something that was painful. We're going to keep her as the Light Oracle, which is fitting since there isn't much more light. I promise we'll get through this, Gemini, before all the light is gone. We get Kalima facing fear. The devil energy, what you got going on? Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Kalima, it's your time to soar. But you got to face, face those fears, face that devil. So I am going to gather these cards up and we're going to look at the uh, situation between you and another person or another energy and how that's all going. And then we'll wrap it up with a Motivation Manifesto card for you. Because things are looking good, Gemini. Why aren't you seeing that? Why am I not seeing that? Okay. Okay. Heal or heal thyself. i got to counsel myself and find out what's going on, too, a little bit. Because that's in my energy, too. And if this energy doesn't fit you, if this reading isn't for you, claim what makes sense and what resonates, leave the rest. Also, look at your sun, moon rising and see what's going on. So, for your energy, we get the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the Queen. Queen of Wands, very strong energy for their energy. We get the Tower. We get the uh, Page of Pentacles, and we get the Six of Swords. For the combined energy, we get the High Priestess, using intuition, Ace of Swords, and Page of Wands. So, for your energy... Emperor, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Very, a lot of passion. Uh, Emperor, Emperor is very good, but he's a little bit on my way or the highway. So maybe back off on that, Gemini. Your person or your other situation could be going through some stuff right now. We got the Tower, we got the Page of Pentacles, which is little information about money, and Six of Swords, moving on to something better. Combined, High Priestess. This is something that is intuitively meant to be. Ace of Swords. Getting that crown back on top of the situation where it belongs. And new, mess, new uh, chances for communication. And the Page of Wands. Small little bit of passion and it's growing. So let's get a Romance Angel on this for these two. For yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Children, your love life is being affected by children. And engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Is that what's causing maybe the tower moment for them? Maybe they're not ready for that level of commitment. I don't know. Or maybe they're contemplating that level of commitment and they've got to clear out some crap in their life first. And I can still see a little bit, Gemini, so let's get that Motivation Manifesto card going. At least you can see my uh, lights and the reflection of the table, if nothing else. So what do we have for Gemini for the month of July? We get we must mature and realize that freeing our mind of ancient hurts and opening once more to love shall give us success to divine, uh, will get, shall give us access to divine strength. We must mature and realize that freeing our mind of ancient hurts and opening once more to love shall give us access to divine strength. 
there is your motivation manifesto for the month. I'll read it one more time since so it's a little dark out here. We must mature and realize that freeing our mind of ancient hurts and opening once more to love shall give us access to divine strength. Open that heart space. Gemini, it's time to get out of here and go into here. It is cancer season. Mercury just went into cancer. Speak from your emotions. Not from up here. And not from ancient hurts. I'm right there with you, Gemini. Thinking of you and pulling for all of you. Take care, and I'll see you again next month.